Wow, Jesus said something very profound and very, very significant for marriage relationship today. And this is definitely something you want to listen and you spread the word uh, to other people. Share the one, share the message. Um, March of the 10, okay? So, verse 2 onwards, some Pharisees came and, and tested him. By asking, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? Well, they're testing Jesus. Jesus replied, What did Moses command you? He replied, They said Moses permitted a man to write a certificate of divorce and send her away. Okay, <laughs> so they're talking about divorce. Man, these Pharisees. And Jesus responded, It was because your hearts were hardened that Moses wrote you this law. Jesus replied, but at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God joined together, let no one separate. Wow. This is so powerful, you know. The, uh, the Pharisees came and test Jesus on the question of divorce. Moses said, "Just write a certificate." It's almost too easy, right? And Jesus explained, "That's because your hearts are hardened." That Moses wrote that, and then Jesus brought back to the story of creation. Hallelujah! That is the original intent of marriage relationship. See, if you want to talk about mar marriage, you've got to go back to Genesis 1, 2, 3, 4, the first few chapters of Genesis. Because that is the Genesis. <laughs> that is the birth of marriage, human relationship. God brought Eve to Adam and they become one flesh. It's really interesting, one flesh. It's not like two, it's become one and... Uh, it's a very, God's concept of marriage is so much more solid and beautiful and permanent than the worldly way of looking at it. You know, it's just, it's just no comparison, okay? It's just, that's why we need this. All right, what did Jesus say? Carson's, this is Carson's study Bible. Hardness of heart characteristically referred to uh, Israel's idolatrous resistance on God's will. Okay? For Jesus, human rebellion against God lies at the heart of all abuse of one, sp one spouse. Whoa, did you hear that? Any abuse of one spouse or one's wife uh, is, is the... the the, the root of that problem is the rebellion against God. How do you tie that? That uh, a man beating out his wife to his rebellion against God. Let's take a look. There's a big, big story, big headline. Without that rebellion, there'd be no need for the abused party to seek protection through a legally valid divorce. Ah. That's why Moses wrote a uh, divorce note, divorce note, because he sees that this man are rebelling against God. And they, if, if, if they continue this way, the wives will suffer. They will abuse their wives. And Moses, to protect the women, give them a certificate of divorce. Go. And, the, and probably told them off or something, but to 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 uh, to to protect the wives of further abuse from the, by the husbands. That's in that way. Well, this is really really amazing. Um, so how does that work? Okay, three five. Okay, now good. Uh, Mark eight sixteen. Okay, the blindness of the disciples. Jesus questions, Jesus questions 
concerning seeing, hearing, understanding, and hardening, recall both his use of parables. Okay. It's in 4.12 and Isaiah 6, and God's condemnation of idolatrous Israel. In spite of being given the, ma the mystery of the kingdom, the disciples, in failing to perceive Jesus' identity, resembling outsiders uh, in whom the, the sworn word bears no fruit. Okay, it is unto this unpromising situation that Jesus must reveal the true nature of his call. Thus, he sovereignly focused on instructing his disciples. So, in a way, if you don't know who Jesus is, it's really hard uh, to, to portray the ethics of marriage, relationship, because it's from Jesus that you, you obtain, you receive the grace, the love, the transformation. If you don't have that, things are going to happen within the couple. Sad things, you know. So, like Paul, like Moses basically want to spare the women of that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 16, you know, circumcise your hearts, therefore, and do not be stiff-necked stiff any longer. Circumcise your hearts. See, at that time, they circumcised the foreskin. But, but Moses telling them, God is telling them through Moses, not circumcise your foreskin, but circumcise your heart. That is a New Testament lingo, New Testament language. The Holy Spirit circumcised our hearts in the name of Jesus by the blood of Christ. Regenerate us, change our hearts, and then we will, you know, we will be able to live a life that really in honor of Jesus etc okay wow seven minutes is long so this is the uh the second or third video of the day